Okay, so this is uh, an introduction to using Onshape with a touchpad if you don't have a mouse. Most of the tutorials uh, are geared toward um, computers that have mice and it is a little bit easier, but we can still do everything we need to do with a touchpad. So let's get started. Um, as always, you're going to click on Sketch. Uh, we'd like this view to be flat to the um, screen, so we're going to go over here and click on Front. So we get Flat View. We need to tell it where to uh, draw, so I'm going to click on this plane. Now we can see that we have all of our, um, our choices up here. Uh, and let's start with a rectangle and do a corner rectangle. To use a touchpad uh, to create a rectangle using a touchpad, I'm going to click once for the first point and then move diagonally and touch again for the end point. If I want to change the size of my rectangle, I need to use the dimension tool up here, double arrows, click on it, slide over whatever line I want to change the size. I'm going to hover over it, touch, drag out, and then double click to select the size. Let's make that two inches. I don't need to add inches or even IN. It defaults to inches. Now I have a two inch um, side. Let's say the other side. I hover over it. I tap once. Let's try this again. It's not, uh, you can see that it wasn't selected. Hover over it, tap, and pull out. Pull this down. I can see the number there. Double tap. And let's make that five inches. Uh, remember that to extrude, go over to the um, extrude cube. Notice, by the way, that this entire time, the reason I'm able to extrude is that sketch one over on the left hand side is highlighted. That means it's still selected. If I were to touch this, let's check mark my rectangle. Look, it went away. Now, if I extrude, I don't think it will extrude um, this particular uh, entity. Look, the extrude is in red, so it's not going to work. Uh, in order to make that work, I could reselect it by hovering over Sketch 1 over here and tapping it. Now that I've, I have Sketch 1 selected, I can extrude, and that adds the depth to it. So let's change depth to, let's say, 4. Enter, and we can check mark that. And we now have a rectangular prism. What about a circle? Let's tap the the diode to get a flat view. Let's go sketch. Say I'm going to sketch on the plane. Tap. Go to my circle tool. I'm going to use center point circle, tap once, come down, tap, drag, tap again, there's my circle. What if I want to change the size of my circle? Go up to my double uh, sided arrow, tap, come down, hover over the outside of the circle, tap, drag, and didn't work. Oh, I guess maybe it did work. And then double tap. And let's make this a 2.5. 2.5. Enter. There's our circle. Um, another option is the line tool. Tap over the line tool. It's selected. Tap. 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 If I have a, an enclosed shape, I can move to extrude, tap, let's make this 0.5, enter, let's check mark it, and let's look at what 
we made. There you go. That's an, in, an introduction to using the um, touchpad for Onshape.